So the reason I save number one and number two is because they're just a little bit more complicated. Um, so we'll start with number one. Uh, it does not have a GCF. And we can't factor this using our normal methods. Uh, but we did talk about how to factor this uh, a few days ago. This is one of those W problems. We're going to let W equal X squared. And then we're going to rewrite this as W squared plus W minus 90. Okay, now it's something that we can factor. So the signs are going to be different. So I'm looking for factors of 90 that give me positive 1. So I think 10 and 9. Now, remember, this problem was not about W's. It was about X's. So let's plug our X's back in. So X squared plus 10 and X squared minus 9. Then we're going to see if we can keep factoring. Um, this cannot be factored any further. Uh, but this, oh, not equals, sorry. This can, this is a difference of squares. So it's going to be a plus minus. So we take the square root of X squared and get X and the square root of 9, and we get 3. All right, so now we're completely factored, and what we're going to do is take each of these and set them equal to 0. So either x, plus, x squared plus 10. I don't know, I'm, I'm really having a hard time writing there. I don't know what's going on. Let's do it that way. x plus 3 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0. So these two are pretty easy. We get x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. Now this one, when we go to solve it, we get x squared equals negative 10. And then we're going to take the square root of both sides. Remember, we need plus or minus. And the square root of negative 10. Remember, we can do that. Uh, it's going to be the square root of 10. And then the square root of negative 1 is i. So two of those solutions are imaginary. Um, and two of them are real. So we have 3, negative 3, and then plus or minus i root 10. All right, number 2. We want to factor this. Uh, hopefully you recognize this. This is a cube. Um, this one is 4x cubed and 1 cubed. And our cubics, they factor into that short factor, long factor. So our short factor is going to be 4x plus 1. Our long factor starts with the first term squared, so 16x squared. It ends with the last term squared, so 1 squared. And then the middle term is just going to be 4x times 1, which is 4x. And then our signs are same, opposites, always positive. OK, so now we have this factored. Um, I told you this before, but this long factor, it cannot be factored any further. So don't waste any time trying to do that. It is it is what it is. So over here, we can set this one equal to 0 and solve it. I'm going to subtract 1 and then divide by 4. So we have negative 1 fourth. And then we're also going to set this one equal to 0. Now, we cannot factor that one anymore. But it's a quadratic, so we can use the quadratic formula. Um, the quadratic formula, if you need to see it again, is I'm going to write it down here. Uh, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, so we get x equals negative b. So it's the opposite of b, so it'll be 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 16 times 1 all over 2 times 16. Now, for that part under the square root, I'm just going to go straight to the calculator to do that because um, I don't want to mess things up. It looks like I have negative 48 all over 32. All right, um, let's see. I can simplify that a little bit. Now, negative 48, the square root of negative 48, we know this is going to have an i in the problem. Okay, This is an imaginary. And then for 48, I'm going to do a little factor tree on that. Uh, that's 6 and 8, which is 3 and 2, 
and two and four and two and two. So I can bring out two times two, which is a four. And then I'm going to leave that three on the inside. Um, I'm really running out of space here. Okay, now in the top, um, let's move this over here, I guess. Hopefully you've managed your space a little bit better taking notes. So now on top, I'm going to factor out a four. I get one plus or minus I root three over 32. And only after I factored am I allowed to reduce that four over 32. So I get um, one plus or minus I root three and then four over 32 reduces to one eighth. Um, so I have two imaginary solutions and one real solution. Okay, and if you notice up at the top of the notes, um, it actually tells you how to do this. So to solve, we factor it completely, set all the factors equal to zero, and then solve. That's what we've been doing. If we end up with a quadratic that we can't factor, we use the quadratic formula to finish. We'll check out the last problem in the next video.